Hi, I'm Larry Schindel. I'm a product manager with Linear Acoustic, and we're part of the Telos Alliance. Today, I'd like to introduce you to ATSC 3.0. Now, ATSC 3.0 is going to be able to deliver a much more cinematic experience to you and your viewers. So, really, what better place to introduce you to it from than an actual theater? Let's go take a look at what ATSC 3.0 is. ATSC 3.0 is the next generation TV standard for the US, South Korea, and potentially other countries. It's being marketed under the brand name of Next Gen TV. So when you go into Best Buy to look for a TV or some other decoder or set top box, look for that Next Gen TV logo and you'll know that that's an ATSC 3 receiver. ATSC 3 is built on the same internet protocol backbone as today's popular streaming media platforms. So ATSC 3 is more than just broadcast television. This can go to mobile devices, cars, gaming consoles, tablets, etc. And it's really designed to bring together the over-the-air transmission along with over-the-top content. This means it can support hybrid delivery methods, such as primary signal coming over the air, and additional content or information being streamed across the internet. On the audio side of things, ATSC 3.0 takes advantage of something that we call next generation audio. Next generation audio includes a lot of new features and functions that will be very useful going forward. Linear Acoustic offers three products for next generation audio workflows. The first one is the LA5300. This is a Dolby AC4 encoder for ATSC3 workflows. It can also encode Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus for your existing ATSC1 or other MVPD delivered services. It also includes real-time loudness control, options for Nielsen and Varence watermarking, it also supports up to four processing instances, so you can encode your audio services for your ATSC3, your ATSC1, and your other delivery requirements all simultaneously. It supports 3 gig SDI, along with 10 channels of AES3 IO and AES67 in support of SMPTE 2110-30 and 31. There are also options for a MATI card or to bring the SDI up to Quadlink 3G for UHD workflows. The next unit is the LA5291, and this is a Dolby Atmos encoder. When you're delivering Dolby Atmos via Dolby Digital Plus with jock information instead of Dolby AC4. This unit can encode Dolby Digital Plus jock from PCM or transcode Dolby ED2 into Dolby Digital Plus jock. It can encode Dolby ED2 out at the venue to deliver to your broadcast center and at the broadcast center decode that ED2 stream into PCM or transcode it right into Dolby Digital Plus jock for delivery to the final viewer. We also offer upmixing in a standalone unit called the Upmax ISC. This unit is capable of accepting a stereo or a 5.1 input signal and upmixing that to an immersive audio source, such as 5.1 plus 4. Or, if you're using surround sound, it can upmix stereo to 5.1 as well. This unit only deals with PCM audio, so there is no support for encoded audio, such as Dolby Digital Plus or Dolby AC4. The latency is low enough that you can use this in a live production. So this can be inserted on a mixing console to upmix bumper music and effects and legacy pieces to immersive audio. Or this can sit in your air chain at the broadcast center and upmix interstitials and advertisements that are not produced natively in immersive audio. It will automatically sense when it's receiving an immersive audio input and it will automatically do the right thing. So if it's receiving an immersive audio input, it will pass that through without processing with the same latency so that your AV sync is not affected. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have questions or if we can offer guidance or assistance on any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching.